Over a hundred years ago, Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest inventors and electrical engineers of all time, immigrated to America as a young man and patented over a thousand four hundred inventions. Tesla's many innovations started the Industrial Revolution in the late 19th century and laid the groundwork for his intention to harness and freely transmit the Earth's natural source of energy. With financial support from J.P. Morgan, Tesla designed and erected a unique electric magnifying tower known as Wardenclyffe on Long Island, New York. Tesla intended Wardenclyffe Tower to be the crown jewel of his life work that would have improved the world's quality of life through his discovery of producing free, wireless electricity by harnessing and transmitting scalar waves surrounding the Earth. There's a tremendous amount of, of radiation that comes in from the sun, and that causes the formation of ions in the atmosphere, a layer called the ionosphere. And somehow, uh, Tesla had been able to tap into that energy so that he could bring it down and, and make use of it. But there's a tremendous amount of energy up there if it could just be tapped. There's more than enough energy to run all of the electrical power of the world. It's just knowing how to tap it. Had Tesla's plans had been fully realized, such magnifying transmitter towers would have provided free electricity and wireless internet type communications across the earth as early as the 1920s. Instead, the futuristic facility's potential went untapped and the tower was demolished for salvage in 1917 when Morgan couldn't find a way to put a meter on Tesla's free wireless electricity. The fall of Wardenclyffe and a mysterious fire in his lab that burned most of his scientific papers and experiments caused Tesla to suffer a nervous breakdown and financial ruin. Tesla seemed to know what energy problems the world would face and prophesied. If we use fuel to get our power, we are living on our capital and exhausting it rapidly. This method is barbarous and wantonly wasteful and will have to be stopped in the interest of coming generations. On this, humanity must build its hope for the future. With its full development and a perfect system of wireless transmission of the energy to any distance, distance, which is the chief impediment to human progress, will be completely annihilated in thought, word, and action. Humanity will be united, wars will be made impossible, and peace will reign supreme. But big oil utility companies and governments prefer to profit and collect taxes on non-renewable energy sources and continue to actively thwart efforts that foster inventions that provide free energy. Perhaps in the future, people will finally fully appreciate and fully reap the benefits of the future technology that Tesla developed. Tesla laid the foundation of many future technologies, but several of his contemporaries, his funders, fellow scientists, and the general public couldn't understand or accept his intellectual gifts and suppress the resources he needed to develop his ideas. Science is but a perversion of itself, unless it has its ultimate goal, the betterment of humanity. One hundred years after Wardenclyffe, the Earth is now faced with critical energy problems that Tesla's tower could have solved at virtually no cost. Our world continues spending trillions of dollars on non-renewable energy sources. We have polluted our environment irreversibly by burning and spilling fossil fuels and we have purposely ignored and segregated people on Earth that desperately need energy for running water purification systems and for providing light. Tesla's project may have prevented untold misery, diseases, and wars for billions of people over the past century. On his deathbed, Tesla quietly smiled and predicted, let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. Tesla's groundbreaking ideas and inventions are only now finally gaining more acceptance in scientific circles and the general public is reaping the benefits of his far-sighted thinking. Were we to seize and eliminate from our industrial world the result of Mr. Tesla's work, the wheels of industry would cease to turn, our electric cars and trains would stop, our towns would be dark, and our mills would be idle and dead. His name marks an epoch in the advance of electrical science.